let us see about aerodynamic center so it is a point at which moment is independent of angle of attack Thereafter, I'm going to mention moment as M and the angle of attack as A O A. Let us take the front part of an aerofoil. Let us take the two points, which is this one is a court record point. So before and this one is an aerodynamic. Center, let's name it as X A C. The distance is mentioned as X A C. And this one is an aerodynamic center mentioned as A C. Let an upward force lift at there. And there is a moment at the quarter cut point M C B four. Now let us take a moment at at point AC. So moment at the aerodynamic center is equal to moment at the quarter part point plus lift into this distance by X AC. Now divide this equation by Q infinity SC this will become m infinity and m a c by q infinity s c equal to l x a c by q infinity s c plus m c by 4 by q infinity s c this term can be written as coefficient of moment at the aerodynamic center which is equal to c l x a c divided by c plus this is CMC by 4. Now differentiate this equation with respect to angle of attack. You will get DCMAC by D alpha is equal to DCL by D alpha XAC by C plus DCM c by 4 by d alpha in definition aerodynamic center moment is independent of angle of attack so this term can be written as 0 is equal to dcl by d alpha x a c by c plus dcm c by 4 by d alpha so you want this term xac by c is equal to minus of dcm by c by c4 i'm sorry it's c by 4 by d alpha divided by dcl by d alpha this is lift to slope which can be written as a naught this is a moment slope which can be written as a naught equal to minus a naught by a naught. So, aerodynamic center can be a fixed point if the lift slope and the moment slope are constants.